Dr. Mama is the Dean of School of Social Work at Mammoth University. She also serves as the representative of the International Federation of Social Workers at the United Nations in New York City. To Dr. Dr. Mama will speak to us about undergraduate and graduate education, as well as licensure requirements for the social work profession. Thank you, Chairwoman McCarthy and members of the committee for allowing me to speak to you today about social work education. My name is Robin Mama, and I'm the Dean of the School of Social Work at Monmouth University in West Long Branch, New Jersey. My oral comments will be targeted to undergraduate social work education. However, my written testimony provides you with some additional information on master's level education as well as social work licensure for practicing social workers. There are over 400 Bachelor of Social Work programs in the United States. Some BSW programs stand alone uh, in departments that are combined with sociology, anthropology, and or criminal justice. Some BSW programs, like ours at Monmouth, are in a school of social work or a department that also offers a master of social work program. And then there are a few who are combined with Master of Social Work, Bachelor of Social Work, and PhD in social work programs. All undergraduate social work programs are generalist in their focus. Students in BSW programs do not concentrate in any area of practice or theoretical focus, as is the case with master's programs. BSW students are taught to work in many areas of practice, whether it's casework or case management, group work, community practice, research, or policy. And they should be able to work in any field of practice, be it gerontology, mental health, aging, child welfare. Critical to the BSW curriculum is the field internship, where students are placed in social service agencies to learn the day-to-day -day aspects of social service delivery. At Monmouth, our BSW students complete a 30-hour volunteer experience in the sophomore year, a 100-hour junior internship, and a 450-hour senior internship. These internships are always supervised by a licensed social worker at the master's level, and these agency supervisors often take a course in supervision that many social work programs offer. So for example, Monmouth runs a course called SIFI, Supervision in Field Instruction, for all our new internship supervisors. The field internship is the place where academia meets practice. It is the applied aspect of social work, and as such is the vehicle that allows students to grow professionally and personally. A baccalaureate student usually knows they've made the right choice of profession when they begin their field internship. I was asked to address both the challenges of undergraduate social work education and their strengths, and I see these to be the following. In terms of strengths, BSW graduates have generalist skills and knowledge, which allow them to work in many facets of social work. Their skills are portable. They are not tied to a specific job or function, but can be taken wherever the graduate goes and are applicable to a number of fields of social work practice. BSW graduates are idealistic and enthusiastic. They want to change the world. This idealism often helps social service agencies because these interns allow agencies and their staffs to remember their own idealism, and many times they help the agencies to see their situations in a new light and help to renew their enthusiasm for social work. They also help to rejuvenate their faculty. BSW students are at an advantage in a workplace because they are taught systems theory and they learn to see the whole picture. They work well with professionals from other disciplines because they see everyone's role, they understand how roles fit together, and with their interpersonal skills, they help to mediate difficult situations. In terms of challenges, recruitment is the biggest challenge facing undergraduate social work programs. Many people, especially parents, are under the impression that social workers only help the poor and take children away from families. They also have the impression that social workers do not make livable salaries. All academic social work programs work hard to negate these impressions, but until society at large begins to change their opinion, this will be difficult. Public education on what social work is and what we do as professionals is essential. 
Ensuring cultural awareness and sensitivity can also be a challenge, depending on where the BSW program is located and who the students are. We need more bi and trilingual social workers. And we need students to develop cultural awareness for all the clients and agencies they come into contact with. Finally, ensuring that social work as a program stays vibrant and respected at the college or university level is also a challenge. This is an applied working discipline that does not often garner large research grants nor garners large donations. And there are times when its usefulness to the larger university can be questioned. Thank you again for this opportunity to speak to you.